Hi, everyone. It's your boy, Sammy Caps. Happy Friday. Today, we're going to end the week with the latest PoE2 news. We have details surrounding the next PoE2 closed beta. PAX West, it's in Seattle. It starts today. It goes until September 2nd. Grinding Gear Games has a booth there, so whoever is attending will be able to try the PoE2 demo. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And lastly, someone from the community shared a Reddit post with me. It has some spicy details about the biggest changes we know so far between PoE 1 and 2. Thought it'd be a good idea to highlight some of these changes so you can stay up to date. We are also going to share some love with the console community. During this video, we will be showing gameplay footage from Gamescom of the new co-op system coming to Path of Exile 2. We have a lot to cover, so pull up a chair, and buckle up. I have it on some good information. The next round of closed beta invites have gone out and will be between September 3rd and 10th. Check your inboxes, guys. If you're one of the lucky ones, let me know in the comments section as I would love to validate this 100%. Either way, it looks like the next round of the closed beta will start early next week. As I mentioned in my opening, the dev team from Grinding Gear Games will be attending PAX West in Seattle this weekend. Attendees have the opportunity to try out the PoE2 demo. If you are attending, please note that Grinding Gear Games booth is booth number 2339. Just want to let everyone know we will be keeping our ears to the ground all weekend. And if any new information comes out, you can be guaranteed we will cover it on this channel. I have to say, I don't expect expect anything new to come out, but who knows? So stay tuned. Now, the next topic I would like to discuss comes from a Reddit post and forgive me, I'm going to butcher his name. And the Reddit post comes from Lupaleza, sorry, created a list that shows all the big changes we know so far between Path of Exile 1 and 2. And I wanted to share it with you. Now, please note, this is a fluid list. It can change at any time, nor is the list inclusive of every chain. There may be some missing topics points, but the goal of doing this rapid fire is hopefully you will hear about one you have not heard about yet. And as always, keep me honest, please provide feedback on any changes that should be added or removed to the list. I will ensure your insight gets forwarded to the originator of the Reddit post. Here are the biggest changes we know so far between Path of Exile 1 and Path of Exile 2. Okay, so this is going to be in rapid fire format, guys. So we're not going to elaborate too much on it because we got over 50 50 changes so here we go you can link every skill with the six link now socket colors no longer exist no sockets on gear different menu instead introduction of wasd movement most skills can be used while moving Path of Exile 2 will have 12 character classes, which include the introduction of six new classes, and they are Monk, Druid, Sorceress, Mercenary, Warrior, and Huntress. Those are just the new ones, guys. We now have a dodge roll in Path of Exile 2. You have 100% evasion during dodge roll. Evasion only works on attack coming from side, not AoE from up or beneath you. Smaller collision collision during dodge roll and no phasing. Dodge roll can have phasing two ways through uniques and special abilities. Dodge roll isn't faster than your movement speed, but does scale with movement speed. Dodge roll has a fast startup, but slow end animation. Shields have active block abilities. PoE 2 will have less mob density and more mob combat mechanics. Path of Exile 2 will Will have over 100 new bosses spanned over the five and a half act in the campaign. This does not include end game bosses, and these 100 new bosses were created from scratch no reused assets. Couch co-op single screen mode is now in PoE 2. When one mob does a big ability, it places the same ability on cooldown on nearby mobs. You are encouraged in Path of Exile 2 to use more abilities through combos. Your auto weapon swap is based on skill used. 
you also have a skill tree for each weapon switch and it auto switches on the fly boss fights now must be done in one life no respawning you only have one life to kill a boss i know i'm repeating myself but this is a big one bosses are harder and have tough mechanics just to give you an insight on this the bosses in path of exile 2 were designed by the same person that designed the uber bosses fyi experience gain on gems are removed from path of exile 2 we now have uncut gems and these uncut gems are items that either level up a skill you have or give you a new skill the choice is yours each gem level up has modifier choices you must make for that skill the gem cutting level up ui looks like the diablo 2 skill tree you only get one of each support gem so you can't you can't use the same support gem for multiple skills again you cannot use the same support gem for multiple skills each campaign and league in path of exile 2 has a different map and quest layout semi procedural each mob has weaknesses and resistances and that's because in path of exile 2 they want to encourage the player to use multi damage types chaos orbs rework it removes an affix then adds an affix there will be an atlas slash maps end game similar to what we have in poe 1 in poe 2 and i want to elaborate on this point jonathan has made the comment and we've heard him say that much of the poe 1 content and we already know one of them ritual will be moving over to path of exile 2 because we've seen live demos and ritual was in the gameplay uh, but not all of the content from poe 1 is going to be moved over to poe 2 but much of it is now uh, what that entails and what has been left out we don't know yet but in due time i'm sure we're gonna get to know more about this but the atlas and maps that we're used to in path of exile one that game style will be in poe two we will keep our cosmetic microtransactions and generic stash tabs king's march from the current league settlers of calgore is actually act four town in path of exile two there will be ascendancies for all the classes, including the six new classes introduced in Path of Exile 2. There are four new weapons that we know of so far that are coming in Path of Exile 2, and those include the spear, crossbow, flail, and mine. We also know in Path of Exile 2, gold is a currency. There will be gambling with gold, fusing and chromes and scour orbs, no longer exist areas in path of exile 2 reset upon death but there are more checkpoints damage numbers will exist but be small near the enemy's top hp bar logout macro will no longer work an area will be reset so you lose progress oh boy you can now pause the game this pause also applies when viewing to see or allocate points on your skill tree there are basic weapon attack skills that are able to be linked to supports which cost no mana each weapon type has specific skills and basic attacks your attributes strength dex int determine the total number of supports you can have socketed support gems have much lower stat requirements however if you hover over a node in the skill tree, if you hit shift, it will now show you the changes of assigning that skill point to your build, whether it's DPS or not DPS. When you hover over that node and you hit shift, another table pops up showing you the impact of assigning that skill point, what it will do to your DPS, or if it's not a DPS skill, what it'll do to every whatever it is touching. So this is great information. I think this is brilliant. It's going to make the learning curve that much less steeper very new player friendly now this same system is also going to be applicable to items 
However, Jonathan at Gamescom did talk about that and saying it's currently not in the demo right now, but it will be added to the game. So not only are you going to be able to get information on all the skill nodes and exactly the impact it will have on your build, you're also going to be able to do the same for items. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Every travel node you can choose which of the three attributes you want. You can change attributes on travel nodes with gold for cheap. Travel nodes give five attributes instead of 10. There is no life on the passive skill tree. Only strength gives life now. The gem cutting upgrade UI looks like the Diablo 2 skill menu. There's no distinction between attacks and spells in terms of defenses. You can evade attacks and spells, but not AOE. So far in all the demos we've seen of Path of Exile 2, there are no doors. That's again, that we know of or seen of so far. You refill flasks by clicking on wells in towns. Desecrate dead has been removed. Some bosses in the campaign drop permanent buffs for your character, like for example, plus cold resistance. Auras and permanent minions use a new resource called spirit. There are no mana reservation mechanics, but you can reserve spirit, which is new to the game. Spirit-based minions get automatically resummoned if nothing died recently. Weapon-based skills are weapon class locked, so a staff skill might not work using a different weapon. Poison does not stack, so you only have one poison application. The six starting passive nodes are different depending on starting class. Alterations are also removed. White mobs give flask charges too. Obviously, we've already talked about all the classes that are in Path of Exile 2. And for you Scion lovers, sorry, Scion will not be in Path of Exile 2 as we know so far. Power, Endurance, and Frenzy charges don't give stats anymore. They are actual charges consumed by some skills. Okay, well, there you have it, everybody. That's the video for today. But a couple of footnotes here. Number one, let me know what you think about the list. There's two main reasons. Number one, it's not my list, but I wanted to share it with you. It does have some good information, but I want to provide some feedback to the originator of the post if there's any errors or if there's some big changes that are coming to Path of Exile 2 that are different from Path of Exile 1 that were not on the list. Now, initially... It looks like it's got it pretty well covered, but let me know what you think. Is there any big topics missing from that list? And do you see any errors? I'd love to get that information and, and I guarantee you I will forward it to the originator of the post. It is on Reddit, so I want to do my part in helping him or her get the right information on that list that he has. That's a fluid list. So Get in there and let me know your comments on the list and what you think about it. And we are going to keep our ear to the ground. Like I said earlier, PAX West, it's this weekend. Grinding Gear Games has a booth. They're going to be there. I'm pretty confident Jonathan will be doing some more whirlwind tour interviews. I don't suspect anything new coming from PAX West. They just came from Gamescom. I would imagine it's going to be the same thing. Interviews, live demo, unless somebody asks different questions or some other relevant information comes out. Who knows? But if it does, you can rest assured I'll be the one to post a video on it and we'll talk about it and I'll highlight it this weekend. So watch out. And by the way, to make sure you are informed, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. This way, when I do post that content, you'll be the first to know about my video. We are going to be covering this game and playing the early access release on November 15th of Packs of Exile 2. I will also be streaming my live gameplay when it does launch on November 15th. Come and check me out. I stream every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, chill community. All right, that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.